Do I recommend sitting on your parents' couch watching Netflix for a year? Absolutely not. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be talking about taking a gap year. I wanted to make this video because I got very confused in my last year of high school and I didn't know what I wanted to do when I finished. Unfortunately, here in Canada and in the US, it's kind of frowned upon and looked down on to take gap years for some reason. Whereas places like Europe and other parts of the world, it is a lot more common. I think it's so crazy that at the ages of 17 and 18, we're expected to decide and know what we want to do with the rest of our lives when at that time we have very little to no real life experience. It is completely okay to be at that age and not really be sure what your interests are and know what you want to spend the next 30 or so years of your life doing. What isn't cool is putting thousands of dollars into something and then having serious regrets later on. We have a very long time on this earth and taking a couple years in the grand scheme of things to kind of figure out what it is that you want to do really isn't a big deal. It might seem like it's a big deal when you're at that age and you're feeling pressured to make a decision. Honestly, once a couple years go by, you realize that there really is no rush. For some reason, we've kind of developed this mentality that in order to be successful, we need to go to school right away, get a job, start saving up for a house, have babies all within the span of like 10 years. <laughs> That really is just not true. If you feel like going and getting a higher education is really not gonna bring you to where you wanna go, then that is also completely okay too. You do not need to go to school in order to be successful. There's so many business people and entrepreneurs that actually never went to college or university and are still completely successful. There are also people out there who have gone to college and university and still have trouble getting jobs or decide that they hate their job and eventually go to school for something else because that's not what they actually love to do. Or even just end up working in a completely different field than what they went to school for. So if you're confused and you don't know what you wanna do and the idea of taking a gap year has even crossed your mind, I highly recommend it. Do I recommend sitting on your parents' couch watching Netflix for a year? Absolutely not. There's so many other things that you can do with your time, like take workshops and hands-on courses on things that you think you might be interested in. Work different jobs, see what kind of environments you do really well in, environments that you don't do well in. Save up your money, go and travel, au pair, volunteer, do workaways. Meet people from different places around the world, talk to them about their jobs, what they're passionate about how they turn their passions into their jobs. Take what other people have made of their lives and see if that might be of interest to you. Are people gonna judge you? Possibly. I think I was one of few people, if not the only person in my class that didn't have plans once I left high school and I had friends who were kind of weird about it. Teachers definitely looked down upon me for it, but I knew that at that time, that kind of ed education that was being offered just wasn't for me and putting thousands of dollars and lots of time into it would just leave me feeling unsatisfied and unfulfilled. Thankfully, my mom is an absolute angel and understood what I was doing and why I had to do it. Thankfully, I have a pretty strong willpower and I didn't let the judgments and opinions of other people push me somewhere where I just was not meant to go. And honestly, I think that taking that time was one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. So not only did I take one gap year, but I actually ended up taking four. In my last year of high school, I started doing yoga and my life completely changed. My interests completely changed. Got really into holistic health and wellness. And at that time, programs in that realm were just very scarce and hard to come by. So I decided I wanted to travel somewhere and do a yoga teacher training. So I finished high school, I got a job, I saved up all my money. I pretty much stopped leaving my house <laughs> and just saved all of my money. I booked a trip to go to India to do my yoga teacher training. And from there I went to Thailand where I realized I freaking love traveling and exploring different cultures and meeting all different kinds of people who were on similar paths as me and who had the same interests as me and really encouraged me to continue my path of self-discovery. For some reason, I had a calling to go to Bali early on, even before I left high school, and it carried on with me, so I knew I just had to go. I worked with kids for a while, realized that it's something I 
probably never want to go into. I quit that job, got a job waitressing, worked crazy insane hours, and then booked a trip to India with my mom and my sister, and from there went on to Bali. In Bali, I signed up to practice with these amazing Ashtanga teachers, and as soon as I got there, I was just thrown into a whole community and world that I didn't even know existed of yoga, energy healing, energy medicine, medicine, spirituality. I ended up staying six months or so and lived there until I ran out of money and came back home. I worked again, booked another trip to Bali, did another yoga teacher training, and then moved to the Cayman Islands with my partner to see what that had to offer. Personally, for me, it wasn't very much. While I was in Cayman, my aunt encouraged me to look online at different programs that were being offered now that I could use my school money for. And for me, my parents opened an RESP fund when I was younger, and if you don't know what that means, that means that pretty much they put money in it, the government puts money in it, and I can use that money for school, but unfortunately it's only for specific college and universities, and it really narrowed down the places that I could go to school. So I went back on and saw that they added a bunch of different cool programs, and I found a college that was dedicated to holistic health studies, and then I found a program that I liked even more. So I decided to come back home to take the program. I could have taken it online, but I thought that it would be much more beneficial official for me to do it hands-on and honestly this is the first time that I've ever been interested in learning at school the environment for me is just perfect I actually am not counting down the minutes till I have to escape I look forward to going and I look forward to all of the things that I'm gonna learn I just want to learn everything and I know that I wouldn't have gotten to that point if I didn't allow myself the time and the space to get clear on what I wanted and work jobs that I didn't like so that I knew exactly what I wanted. So if you're feeling lost and confused and you don't know what to do with your life, it's okay, there is no rush. Just take your time, listen to your intuition, follow your passions, don't be afraid to make decisions for yourself and take one year off or four years off like me. It'll all come to you with time. If you have any questions on this topic, leave them down below. I am happy to share my experience and help you out in any way that I can. If you're new here and you feel called to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I would love to have you along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.